Hi everyone, today's declaration is I am growing. This has come out of a very seemingly unspiritual, mundane <laughs> situation of a broken washing machine which I've just managed to fix and I wanted to share it with you because I'm learning a lot. Basically, our washing machine stopped working a few days ago and with two small babies that quite quickly mounts up to a big fat pile, can you see it there, of laundry. Charming. And uh, so we really wanted to get it working. Didn't know how to ask our landlord. He said it's not in the inventory because it's really old and it'll probably break. So that was no help. He said, call a plumber. Bit of a faff. And we've got a really good handyman neighbour. So we we're going to ask him, but he's been out. So I was just looking at it today and I saw a little uh, thingy down at the bottom and saw something about a filter. And I remember the landlord mentioned something about a filter. I was like, maybe I should take a look. Unbeknownst to me, the filter was basically totally clogged uh, and I'm gonna just let you see some of the grime I mean look this is the filter and wait I'll get back to this in a minute why I'm sharing this with you is basically that it's taken me till I'm 31 to actually learn how to unblock the filter of a washing machine my mum would not be proud because she is very sort of handy at basically doing anything and um you know I was nearly calling a plumber when basically it was very simple. I just need to clean out the filter, which I've never done. I'm sorry to say. Um, but, you know, all these opportunities are opportunities to grow all the time. You know, look like broken washing machine, mega faff. Are we going to have to get a new one? No, I just had to learn for the first time how to unclog it. Now, let me share you, show you the grime. This is the grime. I mean, that is so manky and it stunk. The most dis disconcerting thing was the first thing when I opened that bit down there and it all started gushing out it smelt first like a theme park the log ride you know and all that water splashed around that was the initial smell it was quite disconcerting and then it actually just got worse and worse and worse so it's like gag worthy so this thing was basically totally full of fluff and hair and mud like it had made mud which has then turned into all of that which no wonder the water was not draining out of the washing machine i mean the smell as I'm recording this video, is actually pretty rough. But one thing it made me think, there's an amazing C.S. Lewis quote where he talks about when you first become a Christian, if your life is like a house, when you first become a Christian, it's like God comes into the house of your life and he maybe changes the door knobs and changes the door handles and basically kind of spruces it up, makes it a bit nicer. It's done like, you know, a few tweaks. And then after a few years, he comes in and does a full renovation. He guts out the foundations and redoes the whole plumbing system. And it's a bit like that in our walks with the Lord. Sometimes when we first become a Christian, God will deal with an attitude here, lust here, a bit of an addiction here, swearing, gossiping, you know, little kind of bits and bobs. And then actually you can be walking faithfully with the Lord for years, loving him feeling like you're going deep and then suddenly he does this deep gutting of stuff that you didn't even realize was there and you can be like what how was that there I've been walking with the Lord why didn't he deal with this at once and it's because sometimes it's after only a while of walking with him that he kind of knows we're ready for the full gutting so just be encouraged whatever you're going through especially in this lockdown time when I think for all of us it's an opportunity to be still long enough to allow God to do some of that gutting even for me to be pootling around and realise I need to do the filter. You know, often if I was busy, 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 I might not kind of stop long enough to find myself doing the filter. But now is this incredible opportunity where life is minimised, our distractions are minimised to allow God to do that gutting, to allow him to search our hearts. Like end of Psalm 30, 139, I love. Search me, O God, know my thoughts, see my anxious ways, see if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So I just encourage you this week to pray that. Allow God to search your heart and clean out some of the filters of the washing machine, so to speak. And be encouraged. Don't go into condemnation and think, oh my gosh, this issue's coming up. Oh, I'm a rubbish sinner. I'm a rubbish Christian. There's no hope. No, no, that there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And know that it is because God loves you and is trusting you and is wanting good fruit. You know, he's, you are bearing good fruit and he's pruning the branches that don't bear good fruit that you may bear more good fruit. So when God brings up some of this mucky stuff, it is not because he doesn't love you, because he loves you so much that he's 
daring to take you deeper. And so dive in, dive in, dive in, let God search your heart, prune your heart, and unblock the filters in your life. Bless you. I hope this brings um, hope and encouragement. Bye bye.